Yo, what's going on, Sexy Seven Squad? We are playing Hades today, and I am going to be doing the best build in the entire game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, well, then clearly you haven't watched all my videos because I have done this build before. Uh, but I understand some people don't watch all the videos. It's a lot of video. I put out a lot of content, dude. Not everyone can watch it all. Honestly, if you did watch it all, it's kind of ridiculous because it's so many hours of content that I put out. It's much more hours of recording than it is actual content, but I put out a lot of content in general. Um, that being said, let me put on the MMR for you guys so you guys can see what we're working with. The best build you can do with Hades. Uh, he is 2300. I am 2800. So a pretty good game. Pretty good game. Uh, but the best build that we you can do with Hades or just like in general is Boomba's Hammer. Book of Thoth, Polynomicon, Book of Thoth and Polynomicon synergize because they both have a ton of mana and Book of Thoth gives you more mana. Boomba's also gives you a lot of mana, giving you more power on Book of Thoth. And also Boomba's gives you the 80 uh, pure damage auto attack that will... Uh... Hello, enemy. He, uh, he tried to kill the buff and I'm pretty sure he autoed me. And I think that's why he lost the buff. Okay, you're getting absolutely clapped, my dude. Oh! You would have killed! You would have killed me if he if he didn't miss! If he didn't miss his, his fucking kick! What the heck, dude? Yeah! You would have killed me if you... Or you would have killed yourself if you just didn't miss. Oh, no! Oh no. Well, whatever. That's fine. But yeah, so the best build is this build because, as you know, Hades has one of, if not just straight up, the best clear in the game, uh, which solidifies him as a relatively pretty, pretty good early game god, right? Because if if you can clear, I'm just gonna alt because I don't care about this wave and I want him to miss XP. Um. Oh, you are so deceased, my guy. Hold on. Auto attacks are not my forte. Good though. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Got it. Easy. Absolutely free, my dude. Absolutely free. Anyways. What I was saying. He has really good early game, so you don't need anything to help with his early game. He's already super OP. So what you need is something to help with his late game. If you combine Boomba's Hammer with uh, Book of Thoth and Polynomicon, which scales all of this into really high damage late game, as well as the Boomba's, uh, the Boomba's Hammer proc and the Poly proc combining into an insanely huge amount of on-hit damage... Not to mention the cooldown reduction you get from it. It all kind of adds into one pretty insane build that just is honestly outscaled by nothing. Okay, you really want to punch me in the head. And as much as I respect that, it also infuriates me, so please don't. Alright, you can get the blue buff. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. But what if I ran through here, though? All right, cool. Thank you, Alt, for being super OP, and also giving me a ton of uh, a ton of protections. Give me sixty physical protections, just straight up. Um, but yeah, and then you combine this build with Breastplate of Valor if you're against a physical god, giving you more mana, which gives you more damage via Book of Thoth. Um, and obviously that caps out your cooldown. Get away from me. Devil man. Uh, obviously, that caps out your cooldown. So with Boomba's Hammer and 40% cooldown, you will be spamming those abilities. Hello? I mean... Ow. Okay. Oh, he finished Interval. I was wondering, like, dude, you do so much damage all of a sudden. Why? Now I know why. Oh. 
Oh, so, see, the problem was... Problem was... He does damage. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> no, but seriously, though, like, once you get Book of Thoth online, Breastplate, like, honestly, just Book of Thoth and Breastplate is crazy enough. Then you add the Poly onto it. And then the Boomba's Hammer. Those are really the four items that you need, right? Like, th those four items combined will win you any game you want. If you just replace Breastplate with, like, NGs if you want. That's some defense, huh? Got some defense online acting all big and tough all of a sudden. Hmm. That was weird. I don't know why he did that. He jumped in place just so I could ult him. Like, there, there, there's no reason you would ever actually jump in place there. Because I, I wasn't even low HP, right? Like, there's no way I die there. You just... I don't know, he just wanted to kill me. Wait, is this blue up or is my ward bad? No, my ward is bad. Okay. I guess he's waiting on finishing Genji's. We'll go back and get to the breastplate. He's probably finishing. Oh, maybe Shogun's actually. Probably Shogun's instead of Genji's. Oh no, he's waiting for an HP chalice in base. That's a weird play. But he is very tanky. Uh, okay. I mean, as long as I don't get... Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, as long as I don't get kicked into the wall and I hit my three, I should be fine. And then I, before I even said quote and I hit my three I literally missed my three god damn it <laughs> I was such a dumbass dude I swear all right press play but now that you, you guys know how the build works it's basically ability auto attack ability auto attack ability auto attack and then by because you already have max cooldown and you already have uh boomer's hammer by the time you use your three abilities the auto attacks in between you have your first ability up again. So you will always be able to proc whatever you want, however much damage you want. Doesn't matter. It's a crazy good build. I recommend everyone give it a shot. Hello. Huggy. Ouch. Alright, I did thorns. Oh, he just lost his tower. He just lost his tower trying to kill me at red buff. Uh, please don't kill me. Uh... Uh... How's your cooldown? All right, not good enough. Thank goodness. Uh, my next item, like I said, is going to be probably a Polynomicon. It could be other things just to keep me in the game if I was losing right now. Like, I could obviously go mid Guardian because he's clearly going an auto attack Gilgamesh build, uh, not a power Gilgamesh, which I'm sure you've seen by now from one of my videos. Power Gilgamesh absolutely slaps. But uh, if I was behind and I wanted to get back in the game and I didn't want to go poly here, you could do anything really like it's just these four items are the core four items but you can build them in any order you want like obviously you're always going to start with these two and, but if you're like super far ahead and you don't feel like you need a genji's or a breastplate then just go straight into poly you know like if that's what you want to do but these are the four core items i'm gonna ult he's gonna jump away i don't care hello Uh, his blue is down. All right. Book of Thought is fully stacked now. Uh, all in all, I kind of believe is 950. A max it is. I'm going to have to farm up for that. By the way, people always ask uh, why I level the two instead of the three. 
uh or i'm sorry the why i leveled the two instead of the one secondarily on hades and the reason is because the uh <clears throat> the silence you get actually increases and when you have a longer silence time it makes it very very easy to manipulate the movement of your opponent it's just it's very easy to like always be ready for a fight like right here like with a with the max level fear there he alts and i'm just not scared at all you know I am doing a whole bunch of damage to you. I really wanted to see if he would like... Like if I jumped over the wall, if he would try to kick me back or something. Because I wanted to see if I could kill him with thorns. But... That might be a little bit rude. Let's not be rude. That's another reason why I leveled the two instead of the one is because you want your one. Does this robe make me uh, I'm just going to go more damage, by the way. I'm just going to go rod here. I mean, like I said, you can build whatever you want, but I want to build a rod here. Uh, but <clears throat> if you level the one, you want your one to apply blight to things. So if your one kills them, it's really just lowering the damage of your three. So you want your one to hit things, but not kill them. And uh, so your three does more damage. Ow. Alright. Get your jump out of my way. HP. The poly auto on this thing, why not? How much did that hit for? 56? Yeah, that's actually not bad. I thought it would do a lot less than 56. All right. I'll go get tier two rod, I guess. I could honestly just go into a lot more pen. Like I could go obsidian shard next item. Rod plus obsidian shard gives me a lot of pen. And he did go double the fence out the gate. So not be bad. Why do you why are you so aggressive, dude? Well, probably because you can kill me whenever you whenever you damn well please, huh? Uh Oh, that was uh that was two people clearly trying to outplay each other there. That got really close really quickly. I blinked in and silenced him. He immediately beads it, which was really impressive. Because I, I did not think that I made myself super obvious that I wanted to blink in and be here immediately. You know? So the fact that he read that was, was nice. And he had the immediate beads to counter it. Nice plays, dude. Nice plays, my guy. Oh, he wanted his... I really want this red, but I don't want him to see me here. You want a bull demon? Ow. If he gets an XE, it's going to be a little bit of a pain in my asshole. I definitely should not have detonated there. Uh. All right, Bulwark Proc. All right, he's just 
running in circles right now. I got to get some some damage online, man. I got to get some damage online. He just went itch of all double defense, so I'm doing nothing to this guy. But once I get that Boomba Samer online, like the Ratatouhudi and the Shard, it's going to give me a decent amount of damage, but you guys will see with the build fully online, uh, when your max cooldown and do everything up i'm dead by the way uh you will see that it's absolutely insane if you could do me a favor and like literally never look at me again that'd be sick i would enjoy that insane dude insane blink let's go he didn't have beads up blink or uh, blink is a shorter cooldown than beads uh, and my blink just came up, so I knew his beads weren't up. Because if you remember, I gave kudos to that play where he uh, bees my blink before. Ooh, the 165 poly. Definitely get Phoenix here. I don't even need to poly auto again. I can just normal auto. And I think what I'm going to do, because I'm almost level 20. Okay, rude. But since I'm almost level 20, I'll probably just farm for level 20 and uh, get my Boomba's Hammer right out the gate here. So I'll get like 1,500 gold and, and level 20 and then I'll back. Just get Boomba's Hammer instead of Shard. It's going to be a much bigger power spike than going Shard. So like right here. I'm not level 20 yet. I lied. Four wave. Hello. Ow. All right now I'm level 20, so now we go back and we get Boomba's hammer. Hammer. Now we go back and we get Boomba's hammer. So yeah, nice. Very, very nice. I do wonder like what? Okay. I feel like that shouldn't have one hit it. I didn't. I, I literally autoed it once. All right, watch this shit, dude. Okay. Well, if I didn't miss everything, <laughs> then watch it. As is. You should still watch though. Look at that, dude. Like, just six poly autos. Or, I'm sorry, three poly autos and six Boomba's Hammer autos. It's just so OP. It's just so OP. You can't run from it because I have no cooldowns. You can't out damage it because I do too much damage and some of it is true damage. And you're not gonna, you're not gonna sit in the ring and box a Hades when he's got poly and Boomba's beating on you more than meets the eye. That's what this build is. Crazy, man. It's a crazy build. I made one video on it before, but... But... I don't know, dude. Really fun play Hades. Imagine stream it. I'm not... Oh, he left. Okay, so he's angry. Well, you're gonna get that kind of, that kind of thing a lot when you build like this. But the build is so good. Like, I don't know why I'm not seeing it more often. I'm not kidding. Uh, when I say this, a norm... Uh, Sometimes you guys think I'm exaggerating, but I'm not kidding when I tell you, if you build this build, this exact build, if you build this, Breastplate replaced with Genji's Guard, if they're magical. But if you build this exact same build, and you only play Hades with this build, even if you have no hands, you will probably make it to Masters. It's, it's, it's so broken. It's so broken. And I tried to express this in my last video, but you guys just didn't catch on. So now I'm trying really hard <laughs> to let you guys know this is what you should build. This is how you should play. All you have to, it's not hard. All you have to do, clear the wave and sit under your tower until you get Boomba's hammer. And then you use, a, use an ability, land an auto attack. Use an ability, land an auto attack. Use an ability, land an auto attack. And it's just that over and over and over. And eventually you'll win the game.
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys as always. And until next time, y'all, peace.